Hey guys, Mel the Train Shooter here again with part two of our little experiment into gluing and sealing flock down. Now PVA and watered down PVA have always been the way to go when it comes to sticking down flock and very fine clump foliage. But the problem with PVA, as we know, is on large thin boards, yeah, it can cause warping. So we've been looking at ways of sort of combating that by using other glues and using other sealants. And in our experiments, the first experiments, and if you haven't seen them, yeah, I'll throw a link up to them now. Yeah, we were looking at using various glues and sealing, etc. What we came up with was that to get a decent fix, you have to have PVA in the mix. Whether it's coming down to sealing, what you call it, whether it's coming down to using PVA to initially glue it down or whether it comes to using watered down PVA to seal it but it needs to be in the mix because if it isn't in the mix okay it comes off quite easily now on top of that yeah we've also been looking at what you call it different types of sealers such as what you call it uh, spray rubber adhesive and hairspray and what we found with this experiment was this and this worked well, i.e. the spray rubber adhesive and the watered down PVA worked well and the PVA sealed with hairspray worked well. So I'm just expanding that little experiment and what I'm looking at is I've got my large board here that I textured with, I showed texturing with filler. Yeah, uh, if you haven't seen that video I'll throw a link up to that one now. And what we're going to do is we're going to use these two products on this side, these two products on this side, and we're going to use a mix of flock and fine watch clip, fine clump foliage, to get a more realistic large area surface to see where it turns out. Now I'm hoping that both of these sort of pull off as a viable method. Yeah, I'm hoping more so that this one pulls off because it involves less PVA and therefore less warping. Now possibly that, you know, we have to go back to purely the PVA route. But I'm not 100% sure, so I wanna do the experiment, so let's give it a go. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna crack on with this, and what you'll see is very, very quick time, the process of what I'm doing, yeah, including the ceiling and everything like that. If you wanna skip ahead of that, there's a link up now, and you can go direct to the results. If not, you know, watch for a couple of minutes as I just sort of crack this on at super speed time. Right guys, that's enough talking, let's crack on, eh? Okay guys, this is all dry now. I've tipped it up and I've shaken it off and as you can see, yeah, what we've got remaining is it's quite good adhesion. Right, so what we've got, because I've spinned it round a few times. Right, this is glued down with PVA. This is glued down with PVA. This is glued down with spray glue. Now, you can tell it's straight off, yeah? I know it's spray glue because I've labelled them, but you can tell it's it's spray glue because we've got that similar sort of coverage it's very slightly broken yeah whereas the PVA is nice and it's a solid coverage now on top of that yeah we've covered it with our little bits of clump foliage and our very tiny bits yeah and they've all adhered really well to be truthful to both glues the next step we're going to do is we're going to look at sealing it so what we'll do is we're going to cover the spray glue and the center PVA with watered down PVA and then we're going to cover the what you call it the uh, PVA with hair lacquer yeah and we're going to see how well it adheres this clump foliage and how well it adheres overall yeah and hopefully we'll get an idea whether it's a viable alternative so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to crack on clear up 
get these sprayed. I'll fast forward it again. It's probably only going to take like 30 seconds on the, the YouTube vid, so it won't be long, guys. And then we'll pop back in the morning when it's all dried and we'll look at the results. So let's crack on, eh? Right guys, that's it all sealed up. On that side, you can see it's sort of gone dark from the hairspray, hair lacquer. On this side, yeah, you can see it's had a really good, what's got sort of coating of watered down PVA and doesn't it look pretty? One thing on this side, yeah, uh, you can sort of see there's a slight retraction, yeah, in, I'm not sure if it's a retraction or whether I've blown away, what you call it, loose uh, flock. Not 100% sure on that, but there's a little bit more showing through. We'll see how it looks like when, it dry, when it's dry, guys. So, see you in the morning. Hey, guys. Well, it's all dry now. It's the next day. And listen, just before I jump into this, yeah, uh, I posted up the first experiment last night. and watched loads of you sort of wish my wife well. I was doing well. I just want to say, yeah, she is doing well. And, babe? I am here. Thank you for all the messages. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm a bit gutted that more of you cared about what you got her than my video, but you know, that's the way it rolls. You know, I can live with that, babe. But anyway, <laughs> don't make you laugh. <laughs> don't make a laugh. No posting jokes on this, yeah? Because she's suffering. Anyway, guys, yeah, let's talk about our little experiment. Okay, in the middle, we've got glued down with PVA, sealed with watered down PVA. On this side, we've got glued down with PVA, sealed with hair lacquer. On this side, we've got glued down with rubber spray adhesive, sealed with PVA. Now, we know from our previous experiment that these combinations work. This is the best, yeah, because PVA is the strongest glue and we're using it for gluing it down and sealing it. And as you would expect, you know, it's really nice and sturdy. I'm not overly concerned about how well these big bits are stuck down because typically we'd hit those up with watered down PVA and a little eyedropper afterwards to firm them up. They're a bit too big for just a sealing spray to, to fix permanently. But yeah, all the small ones are really nice and firm as you would expect. And this is what we're gonna to use to compare these against. Yeah, now we've got this side and as you can see, yeah, the watch the seal down what it it stuck the watch at the flock really really well. I mean it's slightly broken up. We know that someone did actually mention in one of the comments that rubber adhesives work better if you apply pressure to them. So that might be another experiment in the future when I come back to this and watch I'll I'll see if that makes a difference with how much sort of flock it holds. But it is all adhesed. Is that a word? It is all stuck down. It's good enough to be a gaming surface. Like I say, these bigger bits, yeah, these would always always be hit with watered down PVA separately anyway, so that's not an issue. If we go over to our other side, so I've got a little bit of a sniffles. Right, this side was glued down with PVA and sealed with hair lacquer. Yeah. Now, personally, it's, it's okay, but I don't think it's as good as what you call it as that, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, I can, can I rub through it? I can rub bits off. Yeah, that's a lot firmer. Yeah, so the hair like it does work, it does hold down, but it isn't as good as the PVA in all honesty. Okay, so we know that's nice and firm. These, yeah, the hair like sp specifically on these sponge bits. Yeah, I know they're not supposed to be stuck down, yeah, with the general sealing, but even so, they are a lot, a lot softer. So, what to take from this, guys? Well, quite simple, yeah? First and foremost, as we already know, gluing down with PVA, sealing with PVA is the best option, okay? Gluing down and sealing with a, uh, what's your hairspray, it's okay for flat boards, you know? If you start including clump foliage and stuff like that, you're gonna start having problems because it's just not enough to adhere those down. Yeah, I'm going to practice with a few other different sprays as well, just in the future, just see, just before I rule it out. Now, what is interesting is the spray adhesive. Yes, it's a little bit messy. Yes, there's not 100% coverage, but it's good enough. And if that rolling and, and pressing it down works, even better. Sealed with watered down PVA, which, yeah, if you compare the watered down PVA to the PVA we've put on this one, 
it's considerably less. There's probably only a teaspoon or two teaspoons of PVA actually gone on this, which means warpage will be incredibly negligible. So my recommendation is, if you're doing small pieces of terrain or reinforced boards, yeah, stick with your PVA. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, and to be truthful, that's the obvious. But if you want to do six mil boards for a gaming club, yeah, and you want to texture them with, you know, very fine clump foliage and what you call it, and flock, then, you know, rubber adhesive, it works. Yeah, without the warpage, because we know from the previous experiment that we had no warping issues whatsoever. So guys, there's the tip, yeah. PVA, when you can be guaranteed sure that you can control the warpage, if you're worried about warpage and you want to get flocked down onto a large surface, hit it with what you call it, hit it with a spray glue and, go, and then seal it with PVA. Right, well that was a bit of a jolly of an experiment. I've got a few more to do, but I want to plan them and figure out what I'm doing. So you probably won't see another experiment video for a while, but I hope you've liked them. I hope you've enjoyed coming along on this jolly with me. Uh, plenty more stuff to come, trust me, plenty more stuff to come. In the meantime, as always, like if you've liked it, share it if you've got a mate you think that will be interested or someone will be interested. Uh, always comment, always comment, even if just as count we watch them call it. I don't think we got many watch them call it in this one, did we? Yeah, but always comment. If you've got any questions, fire them down below. And if you've got any experience with this, this is experiment, so please, yeah, let me know in the comments. And finally, you know, if you like what I do and you, and you know, you want to support me, throw a book a month on Patreon. Yeah, the link's at the bottom. I'll be eternally grateful. And if you don't, no worries. I'm still going to do what I do, aren't I, guys? Because I love it. Right, I've got Zitzilla on my face, so you ain't going to see my face on this one. I will see you soon with more tutorials. Catch you soon, guys. All the best. Ta-da!